Hello there, Wanda here, and I'm working with a sliced agate, and I'm having an idea with this tattoo, so I really hope that it uh, works the way I want it to. Generally, you want to work on a white or a light colored background because ta temporary tattoos don't have uh, white in them usually. So this color, these light pinks and purples, uh, may disappear, so what I'm going to do is try to get that into the lighter area of this slice like that so I'm going to put this here remember to remove the film on the back of your tattoo okay and where you place it is where it stays don't try to lift it and re adjust it because you'll ruin your tattoo so where you drop it is where you need to keep it apply water to the backing nice generous amount of water saturated it fully saturate it fully and then when you take this up be super careful make sure it's transferred so you don't want to lift your tattoo off of the rock I usually try to slide but Agates are very slick, so it makes kind of a suction. It's hard to slide them off. So, hopefully this works. Fingers crossed it looks looking good so far. Oh, I like it. Okay, this one worked. <laughs> Yay! So this wouldn't work on a lot of applications. I did just try a jellyfish on a blue one, and it completely disappeared into the background. So... You have to find one that's light enough and a tattoo that works with it. So I'm being very careful not to disturb the tattoo, but to get the bubbles out from under it. Okay. And then let that dry really, really well. You can blot it, but don't rub. Okay, once that's done, you can embellish however you like, or you can just seal it. You know me, I'm going to probably go in there with some crazy bling bling glue and or foil and... Uh, rhinestones because I do that <clears throat> so this is like Aurora Borealis in the background and some trees down here so pretty so we'll work with that <laughs> okay so I have some beetles nail art foil glue and I'm going to apply that where I want to apply my Aurora Borealis nail foil to really bring out the background there. So basically, I'm going to apply it to the deer, the stag. Okay, I am going to apply the stars. I think I'll do it this way. I'm rubbing out the bubbles and making sure it's laying down appropriately. And then you lift up slowly and lay it back down if you have patches that need to be filled in. So 
and then I'm going to come right here and grab that corner that I missed and right here <laughs> look at how gorgeous is that and we'll definitely be putting some rhinestones but I also want to <laughs> um, apply some of this crackle around maybe around the horn so I'm going to put a little bit of glue in the horn area actually we're going to call that antlers not horns <laughs> and I think I might change my mind about the crackle I'm going to go with this velvety looking laser uh, foil Like that. And we're going to apply that here to give those antlers like a velvety look, like it's winter, you know, when they have their velvet. Very good. Okay, I'm just going to touch up the outline around our stag. So I'm just taking a Posca 1MR and reinforcing the outlines around our antlers. I'll go around the whole image. Like so. Okay, I also went ahead and touched up the trees to bring them back. And I'm going to add some stars, uh, rhinestone stars in the back. Okay, so I picked out this star. And I'm going to also add this moon here, like that. And a few little tiny rhinestones for stars. Like that. Okay. And then I'm going to hit it with a top coat and seal those in there. So right now I'm actually going to take them back off and then put the top coat on. Put these in the top coat while it's wet and seal it. And I'm going to do top coat. Actually, I'm going to do top coat everywhere <laughs> on the whole slice. Yeah. The entire slice. Okay, I've cured that top coat. Now I'm going to do a coat of resin. This is Jadiction UV resin. Okay, I'm spreading that around with a resin spatula. I'm going to torch that, get the bubbles out. 
and then drop in my rhinestones where I want them. Okay, and then I'm going to hit that with the light just to give it a little minute or a little top here so it won't move. Okay, now I'm going to pop it in my big light to cure in the 84 watt beetles. So it'll be in there for probably about four minutes. Okay, finished. Isn't that just beautiful? So that was pretty simple. Tattoo on a slice with some foil and then some touching up. But let's see what it looks like with the light behind it, right? Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. So thank you all for hanging out with me today for this uh, short tutorial on an agate slice with a tattoo, some resin, rhinestones, and a Posca pen. Super fun. And this cool little orb blinking light. <laughs> you can get these multi-packs, I believe, on Amazon. Anyways, I'll see you again real soon for the next tutorial.